Hey kids, got a question from one of our viewers about uh, how do we keep track of our PEZ? And I, I may have done one of these before, but I'm gonna get a little more specific into some of the columns. First of all, say hi to this guy. This is uh, the PEZ mascot, our mystery flavor. Ooh, uh, we are PEZ Through the Ages. This is Brian Trauman. We've got a Facebook group and a YouTube channel. And you're gonna find all kinds of interesting files in the file section of our Facebook page. So this is my spreadsheet, and I'll show you just the columns, how I keep track of things. I do the name based on what John Laspina's got in his price guide. Uh, it makes it easy for me to keep track of what I've got, to check them off in his book, to understand the pricing. Uh, it's just easier for me that way, although you guys can keep track of them any way you want. So I've got, uh, and I probably could have them in different columns, but I don't. So I've got the category that he's got. So there's a bunch of different charity ones. Then there's the AWL, uh, which is the, what, Australian Welfare League, I think. And then the the uh, the name of the dispenser. And I've got them organized here so I can, when I sort it, uh, it goes in the same order as John's book, except where John has screwed up some alphabetical stuff. That's okay. Then I've got the head, which is John's next thing in his book. Now, these are not always as descriptive as they can or should be, and so I've made some changes. Like the Valentine Hearts ones, I had to, to change things dramatically. They're just too many, and I couldn't figure out how to organize it and see what I had. So you do what's right for you. Then, uh, John doesn't keep track of really anything else that's coming, so I've got my stem color in there. Uh, you can be more specific than this in some cases, you know, the, the differences in blues and yellows and, and greens. Light green, dark green doesn't really tell it all. So you got to make up whatever works for you. Sometimes I'll put in stuff that's got printed on there. I just added this sleeve column. This is mostly unnecessary for those people that aren't crazy. So uh, you can see I haven't filled in any of these yet, uh, but I've started, you know, trans. Uh, that's uh, not transgender. This is, uh, it is Pride Month. But this is transparent and it's got two circles on the back. Like this guy, I would call it, there he is, transparent. And you see the two circles? I do. Uh, a lot of the common ones have that. So this is more interesting. There's the focus. More interesting on the older dispensers that are different colors. Uh, most of mine are loose, so you're going to see that here under, I guess I've got it, quality. But I've also got MO, uh, MOC, mint on card, mint in bag, blah, blah, blah. Feet, thick, thin, no feet. Uh, I've even got somewhere in here, like no feet, but also slim, uh, no feet side. So when I started ordering shoes for everything, I kept track of what's no foot uh, that I want to display on the side or no foot that's a truck or uh, other things to help me understand which shoes I wanted to buy. Notes is for all that stuff that doesn't fit any place else. And I found that more things start falling into here, like, uh, you know, uh, whether there's damage or if it was made in, um, if it had a printed stem or an upside down R or whatever else. And so I started creating different columns for those, which alleviates some confusion. I've got my patent numbers in here. XX means that I've looked at it and it doesn't have one. I used to leave it blank, but that got confusing. Like, did I just not fill it in? Or what? And so things like, what is this? This is the the bank, the Gamma Banks, of course, don't have patents. Uh, the manufacturer, Hungary, Slovenia, uh, sorry, Hungary, Slovenia, and others, IMC. Uh, and that way I can sort, if somebody asks me a question, hey, do you have any Austria 7s? I can find that right in here. Uh, I've started to keep track now, pardon me, of whether there's a, uh, a metal or plastic spring, and if it's a plastic spring, is it the old one-leaf variety or the new or four-leaf? The pin is either plastic or metal. Uh, double down, I want to keep track of those. Uh, whether there's a shadow or no shadow stem, and if it's a shadow on how many sides, one or two. Whether it's squashed. Uh, so there are some that the the a lot of them are no, but you know on the USA ones the patent the country information is not justified to the margins. It's uh, uh, squashed, and so there's a bunch, including most of the double downs, and a couple others up top over here. 
that have squashed patent information. Uh, whether it's got a spine or not, there's some interesting transition pieces. Very few that are no feet with a spine, except for the, like, the hearts and trucks and stuff. Uh, so there's some old red and white Yugo stuff. And then there's uh, some footed ones without a spine. And I really like those for some reason. Here are some of those prices. Uh, these are the prices that I paid. Uh, what are these? These are expensive. Uh, clowns. Clowns with... Uh, collars, clowns with long face noses. The date from whom I bought it, uh, the price in John's guide, that's my favorite, 500 to 600, I only paid a buck. Um, actually, I didn't, I got it as a gift. The year it was released and whether it's a dispenser or not a dispenser, so I can answer that all important question of, is it, uh, how many dispensers do you have? Anyway, those are the columns that I've kept. Um, Again, the ones that I think are important if you're keeping track of it yourself are the name or the category, the head and the stem color, whether it's loose or not, if that's important to you, what type of foot, no foot, thick foot, thin foot, uh, the patent, the manufacturer, and the IMC, if you're one of those kind of collectors, uh, the metal or plastic springs and hinges, if you're one of those, the double down and the... Uh, no shadow, if you're one of those, whether it's got a spine when it shouldn't or vice versa, if you're one of those. And if you're super crazy, you can get into what kind of sleeve you got or whether the letters are squashed together. And of course, I like to keep track of who I bought it from and uh, and how much I paid and when I got it so that I can, uh, I can know, hey, is this a trustworthy uh, seller or buyer and help out others. Hope this is helpful, folks.